Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. Of course, we've heard about the arrest and the detention of Peter Obi in the United Kingdom. He was arrested at the airport and he was detained. And of course, we've been hearing about some kind of alleged impersonation of which might, might lead to something we don't expect. And that's why Peter Obi has been detained. Not really he had an offense, but because of this impersonation, everything needs to be clear we need to clear the air is what has been said now a quick uh, statement from premium time as they've written to the uk government requesting for the details of peter obi's arrest this paper concern and of course mr obi was recently arrested and detained briefly in london over alleged impersonation premium times writes the uk government request details of Peter Obi's arrest. We would like you to see tight as we go into the full details of the news as we dig deep into these uh, news details. I'd like you to join us as we go. According to the news, our Nigerians foremost investigative newspaper, Premium Times, have written the United Kingdom government requesting the details of the arrest and detention of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi by its immigration officials at Heathrow Airport in London last week. In a letter dated 13th April to the UK Home Office, the newspaper sought to understand the circumstances surrounding Mr. Obi's audios in the European country during Easter. On the Wednesday, the head of Bidati Media Deron Onifade in a statement announced that the Labour Party candidate was last week detained in London by UK immigration officials over alleged impersonation. Onifade, however, said Mr. Peter Obi has since returned to Nigeria. The Labour Party candidate in the February 25th presidential poll arrived at the Heathrow Airport in London from Nigeria on Good Friday. April 7, 2023, and joined the queue for the necessary airport protocols when he was accosted by immigration officials who handed him to detention you know, a detention note and told him to step aside, he said in the statement. He added that Mr. Obi, former Nambra State Governor, Southeast Nigeria, as a, you know, was harassed by the London immigration officials and placed in detention where he spent the Easter holidays. The statement did not, however, highlight the necessary details of Mr. Obi's arrest and his subsequent release before returning to the country. Similarly, the UK government has yet to provide any information surrounding Mr. Obi's audio in London. Based on these uh, concerns about the inquiry and its desire to accurately report the incident amidst on substantial in you know, on substantiated uh, claims on the issue on social media, Premium Time placed a telephone call on Thursday to the UK Home Office for further details on Mr. Obi's audio. However, this newspaper was requested to write a letter formally requesting the details. In the letter, signed by the newspaper's editor-in-chief, you know, Musikilu Mojib, is uh, specifically sought clarification on Mr. Obi's offenses, when and how he was released the condition upon which he was released, the current status of the case against him and other related issues. Our newspaper is interested in understanding the circumstances surrounding the arrest and detention of Mr. Obi, including details of when he was arrested, his offenses, when and how he was released, the condition upon which he was released, the current status of the case against him and whether he was arraigned and in which court the letter read. 
Lipo Party mute on alleged offenses by Peter Obi. Meanwhile, a similar request, among which include the inquiry into the crimes committed by the impersonator that led to Mr. Obi's detention, as well as the current assets status to the UK, which were forwarded to Mr. Onifadi, were left unanswered as of the time of filling this report. Also, a check on the Labour Party's website by this paper also revealed that the party has deleted the statement issued by Mr. Onifadi about Mr. Obi's London audio, which it published earlier. No apology for Peter Obi from UK authorities. Meanwhile, the Labour Party has denied reports that the UK government, you know, had apologized to Mr. Obi over his arrest, detention and harassment at the London airport, as claimed by his party in this statement. We have been receiving inquiries with regards to the so-called apology purposed, you know, purposedly issued by the British government or any of its agencies to our principal, Mr. Peter Obi, in respect of a routine immigration engagement with him as he arrived in London for a brief visit last Friday, the 7th of April. We would like to state emphatically that we are not aware of any such apology and have not issued any statement whatsoever in that regard, Mr. Nifade stated in the statement on Thursday. The Labour Party spokesperson said while the party continues to examine any dubious or political motive on the part of the perpetrators of the identity theft, he had every confidence in the ability of the British authorities to resolve the matter to a conclusion. Mr. Peter Obi and the Labour Party slash the PPC have since moved on from the incidents and continue to be totally focused on the legal processes before the election petition tribunal towards the recovery of our mandate, which we are firmly convinced was overwhelmingly expressed by voters in the presidential election of February 25th. The statement said, what is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this plan development? We've just had the full gist of what has been said as Premier Times has written to the UK government requesting the details of Peter Obi's arrest. We would like you to share it with us about the comment section. That the worst, you know, the Tenable crime ring can do and the best he will benefit is the shame, you know, in certificates in which he possesses. He will never be president. That is what has been said by Had Taku, believing that everything that is happening to Mr. Peter B. Nunn is not behind the APC presidential candidate. And no matter what happened, you know, no matter what happened, that shameful certificate he was given would definitely be retrieved. He will never be a president of Nigeria. What is your take to this? We would like you to share a point of view with us via the comment section on this brand development. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have notes. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.